This is the battle of the big boys, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 versus the iPhone 10. Both the phones differ quite a bit in terms of internals, but which one is better at real world speed? We'll start with boot times where the iPhone 10 beats the Note 9 by just a very small margin. Next to check biometric speeds, the Note 9 is faster using its fingerprint scanner than Apple's Face ID, but only by a small margin once again. To make sure things are fair, both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and are on their latest software. And just to add, I'm opening up the iPhone camera app here just to switch its default mode to the selfie, as we'll be using that during our speed test. But having done that and cleared all background apps, let's start the test. Both the phones at the start of the test are neck and neck, and as they're loading Google Maps, the iPhone 10 takes the lead over the Note 9. But when loading the phone's respective app stores, the Note 9 covers up some ground and is now loading GNTech's mobile website on Chrome slightly faster than the iPhone 10. Through the next few apps, the Note 9 seems to have an apps advantage and the lead becomes bigger with progressing apps. By the time the Note 9 is loading the first of its games in the gaming row, the iPhone 10 is two applications behind it. The game loading times on the Note 9 allow the iPhone 10 to obviously catch up. And quite frankly, the initial games on the iPhone 10 did seem to load faster, but despite all of this, it is the Note 9 that finishes loading Asphalt 9 first, and of course the first round of the speed test in 1 minute and 23 seconds. As it moves to its second round, the iPhone 10 just about finishes loading Asphalt 9 as well, and the system application is to finish its first round in 1 minute and 40 seconds. The second round tests memory management, and here, the Note 9 managed to keep all applications in memory, and of course the lead, but interestingly the iPhone 10 with half the RAM of the Note 9 also manages to do the same, which is very impressive. And having a look at the second lap times for both the phones, the iPhone 10 actually is faster than the Note 9. But considering overall performance, the Note 9 does finish the test faster at 1 minute and 58 seconds compared to the iPhone 10's 2 minutes and 10 seconds. The much higher spec hardware on the Note 9 does make the result a bit predictable here, but in spite of all of that and the iPhone shortcomings, it held its ground pretty well. Let us know what you think about the results down in the comments below and tell us which phones you'd like us to compare next. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.